Hi, my name's Scott. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to locate and back up footage from a VIP vision, watch guard, or secure view CCTV recorder. So what you'll need to do is get a USB stick and insert it into your recorder. So it doesn't matter if you use the, the port on the front or the port on the back, as long as it's plugged in. Now, on your recorder, you get this little pop-up box stating what would you like to do. So in our case, we're gonna search for the footage first. So we'll just right click to close that pop-up. And what we're gonna search for is there was a white car on this fourth camera down here and it's since disappeared. So we'll go back and have a look and see if we can find it. And then we'll back up the footage. So what you wanna do is right click and select main menu. You'll be asked to log in enter your username and password. Select enter and then okay. So your password will vary depending on, on how you set the recorder up. So then you wanna select playback. And then on the right hand side, you've got the calendar. So in this case, I know the car went missing today. So today's the second, and it was on camera four. So we'll untick everything other than the fourth camera. Now I've got a green bar down the bottom. So it goes from zero to 24. So that's 24 hour time. So what we'll do, we'll just flick through. So that's the car we're looking for, the one on the left. We'll just see when it disappears. So we'll just flick through. Oh, okay, so it disappears at that point. So 10.55, so what we'll do, we'll use these options down here to zoom in a little bit. So this actually zooms in on the timeline, makes it more granular and easy to find. So if we select the one hour option, That'll bring us in a bit. And then we can just move around again and see. Okay, so we'll try and narrow it down. What we'll do, we'll go to the 30 minute mark, bring us in a little bit further. Just keep clicking along. Okay, so it disappears at that point. So we'll just click a little bit before it. Okay, so that's when it happens. So we'll just pause it there. So say 10.49.55 is just after. So what we'll do, we'll go in, we'll, we'll back up that event. So we'll back up, say, 10.49 to 10.50. So to do that, we wanna start at the beginning, so we'll click back until we find 10.49 or on your, around about. And then we'll pause it. So now that we've found our start point, we'll select the scissors button. You can see it's filled that out, so 10.49.01. And if we play the footage, and we can either play and wait until the event finishes or we can just skip ahead. In this case, I'm just gonna skip ahead. And once we've reached our approximate time we wanna finish, so 10.51.05, which is fine, we'll back up two minutes worth of footage. We'll click the scissors button again. And you can see there it's, it's listed. So this is the, the section that's gonna be backed up from this single camera. We select the save button. It'll ask, where do you want to store it? So 
So in this case, it's our USB stick. And this is the file. So it's got the date and the start time and the date and the end time and how much space is required. So we'll select backup. It'll ask you whereabouts do you want to save it. In this case, it's made a folder, which is fine. We'll select start. So it'll process the footage. And the backup is complete. So if we right click, right click again, and you just keep right clicking until you get back to your live view. Now the footage is backed up, you can give it out to the relevant authorities. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. Thank you.